Hello, I'm Margot Marone, and I've been part of writing circles, but I wrote a lot beforehand, and I'm honored to be here. I have to tell you that um, this jacket is something that I got when I was going through chemo. Some of you, someone else mentioned Kohl's. Well, while I was in process, I got a 30% off coupon. <laughs> so after a long day of chemo, I said to my husband, we have to stop. And I just grabbed six different things off the rack, one of them being this jacket. And as I put them on the counter to pay, my husband said, that isn't you. And I said, it's the new me. <laughs> Cancer is transformative. I also attended um, the mindfulness training. And this summer, I was realizing how I was losing that. So came this poem. Oh, to let go of striving and to simply be too much thinking, judging, planning, makes me so weary. Then suddenly the sun filters in, casting a shadow on the floor. The leaves of my hanging plant are springing up and down, jolted by a hungry hummingbird with fast fluttering wings, sucking up the nectar. Ah, a moment of respite amid the chaos. And then my chemo was starting in, the, in uh, January. And as spring approaches, I approached, I was getting into a funk. I was getting discouraged. And I wrote this prayer poem. Lord, our creator, lover of our souls, only you know what the future holds. As I journey forth, be there by my side. Hold me very close. Do not let me slide into modes of panic or shades of gloom. Help me see the buds. Let me see them bloom. Shower me with healing and with your love. Look down with kindness. Bless me from above. Cradle me in tenderness so that I may be filled with your presence and serenity. And then this fall, I don't remember what Marv's prompt was, <clears throat> but I did um, Autumn and Life. Crimson leaves plus, plus orange and gold are drifting into my planter of once lush impatience. Two different seasons, yet they blend together during this time of in-betweenness, one seeps into the other. How much like life. <laughs>